Hello everybody, this is Stray Gamer here to conclude the first trial. So all you peeps that entered last in my tournament, and I'm sure eagerly awaiting to see how you're going to fare in this first trial, well you're finally going to have your answer in this part. So we're not going to dilly dally, we're going to press on and complete the first trial. Right, up first we, we have the champion of the previous tournament, we have Maastrician coming in with a Sorrow Faganax. Spin away, spin away. We're going to see a Sorrow Faganax going up against. Shall I just declare Maastrician the winner? Okie dokie, representing Maastrician, our champ, we have Sorrow Faganax. And I should mention, as the champion of my previous tournament, Maastrician does have a five point head start. So, practically, all they need to do is succeed in one of the trials to qualify. And based on this matchup against the Sejuangasaurus, they probably are going to succeed in this trial. But we've seen stranger things happen in this in these tournaments. And if you remember part two, Sejuangasaurus did defeat Terry. So it's not out the realm of possibility. But yeah, I'm pretty confident Master Shun is gonna win it. Ty. Ties will probably favour the Sejuan, to be honest. Even though Sorofagnax has heat eruption, his technique is relatively low, so it doesn't have that good of a chance to get it off. But yeah, look at that. A normal hit. Gets a Cyclone, but yeah. A very little damage. Look at the difference now. Dino Illusion does get triggered though, and that's two points guaranteed for Master Shion. The tie. I think Heat Eruption does go through the Dino Illusion. But at this point, it's pretty much an annoyance for Master Shion. It means he has to get at least two more hits to pass this trial, instead of the one. Okay, there goes the Dino Illusion. Sir of Faginac's getting another hit then. I tell you what, the Sejuangasaurus has put up a fight, as it always does. Ooh, the tie! That makes things interesting. Another tie! No heat eruption, though. Ooh, is Maastrician in trouble? Ooh. Ooh. Well, I doubt we'll get a tie. Okay, no. Oof. <laughs> Well, he made it difficult, more difficult than he needed to, but Maastrician, in the end, just about gets it done. And well, no, to nobody's surprise, they qualify for the last 16, with a big fat 10 points. Right, up next we have a tournament veteran in Nopi, has featured in numerous tournaments over the years, coming in with an Apatosaurus. Right, Nopi's opponent shall be... A Parasaurolophus. Didn't see it at all in part two, but if, but it's going to feature in part three. Right then, representing Nopi, we have the Apatosaurus, the secret version. In fact, I think the first secret dinosaur to feature in a, in the first truck, with the exception to Pachycephalosaurus. Nothing special here. Maybe we'll hopefully we'll see some secret moves. Going up against it though, we have the Parasaurolophus. The resilient tank herself. Won the Gracious Grass Tournament primarily on a strong resilience. So this will be tough for Noki. We'll need to get some secret moves triggered, I believe. Ooh, that's a good start for the para, but not for Noki. The fence burst is going to activate as well. Not the bit, not the start. Nope, he wants. That's a tie. Ooh, get the Parasaurus does get the next hit. A light recovery to come as well, but yeah, look at the damage it's going to do. Not a lot, but it does pretty much balance even things out. Oh, another hit on the board for a Patasaurus is 
could be a very much a war of attrition that. But that does take the Paris HP for the time being below half. And I say for the time being because it does have light recovery. Oh, but he's not going to get the chance to use it. And we are going to see some secret moves. And I forgot what this one's called. Arc Discharge, I think. And that will discharge the power to all of us from this contest. And give Nopi a victory in, the, in this trial. A Pachlosaur has definitely did its job there. Slow start, but it got going. Okay, coming up next, we have a newcomer in my tournament. I think this guy's a newcomer. Convoy, coming in with a Euoplocephalus. Let's see who, who, Euop who Euoplocephalus will be facing. Ooh, I think it's going to be Mapusaurus. We could be in for an interesting contest. Representing Convoy, we have Euoplocephalus. Yes, yes, I, I forgot what this guy, who this guy was called. <laughs> Ugh. Facing the Euoplocephalus, we got a Mapusaurus, the Fire Tournament Champion. Well, it's only fire, it'll only be the Champion of the Fire Tournament for the time being. <laughs> the Serial Winner, the Earth Beast, the Apex of South America that everyone seems to care about now. Can we just acknowledge the fact that Mapusaurus has basically replaced Giganotosaurus as, like, the big apex of South America. It's like, nobody cares about, nobody cares about Giganotosaurus anymore. Hell, they should, hell, Dominion should have just gone with Mapusaurus instead. Ooh, Mapusaurus gets a crit, but... The Wapnocephalus does have the Earth Barrier protecting him. Tech Boost will activate, increasing the likelihood we'll see Heat Eruption. That's a tie. Ooh, wow, you guys are doing well in this trial. Well, so far, more people have succeeded in this trial than failed. And it looks like Convoy is going to join the winning side. Another Earth Barrier coming in as well. You want the Cephalus getting really lucky with those. And that puts Convoy in command. And that will do it. Convoy popping it into first, raising down the Convoy, defeating the Mapusaurus, and passing the first trial. Quite comfortably, I might add. The Mapusaurus didn't really get going. And even if it did get hit, the Earth Barriers would have protected you up the Cephalus. Up next, we have Raybone. Can Raybone make it eight uh, eight successes in a row for you guys with their Pentaceratops? Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, is it going to be Mapusaurus again? Oh, yes it is. It's going to be Mapusaurus again. Okie dokie. For Raybone, representing them for this first trial, we got Pentaceratops. Seems to be a tournament staple for quite a lot of you guys. No, solid. I can see why though, I can see why, I can see the justification of it. Looking to get a bit of redemption after suffering a bruising defeat in the... Against the last guy, we got Mapusaurus. Oh, we can skip this since we've seen him already in this session. Ooh, Mapusaurus gets the first hit, not messing about this time. Determined to stop you got determined to stop Rainbow make Raybone making it eight win successes in a row for you guys. Well wow, really determined. That's another hit on the board. Oh it's a stun dash, gotta get my buttons of that brother. Boosh. That's gonna slap some sense into Penticeratops. The tech boost will be maxed up now, so I'm pretty sure we'll see some heat eruptions if there's any times. Ooh, Pentaceratops not beaten yet, though. Does get a crit on the board. Raybo needed that hit just to get, get, get that in this trial. Oh, but the Mapusaurus gets the hit. And that sound 
means that this, the, the reform effect is activated as well. So this is going to do more damage. And I think that's going to be curtains for Penticeratops. I guess the successful streak ends at 7. And unfortunately for Raybo, they fail the, tr the first try. I jinxed him, didn't I? Right, up next we have Silver Knights coming in with a Therizinosaurus, another secret dinosaur. Let's see if they have success in this first trial. Therizinosaurus will be taken on. Is it going to be Armatus? I think it's going to be Armatus. Yeah. We're going to be seeing Ferry going up against Armatus. Okie dokie, for Silver Knights, representing them for the first trial, we have Therizinosaurus. A strong dinosaur to pick for this first trial. So, they, so that I'm sure they're looking for maximum points out of this trial. However, standing in the fairy's way, we got Armatus. Armatus the champ, the Earth Shaker champion. And this had a mixed record in, when it's been selected for, these, for this trial so far. It's, stopped a few people but it has been defeated a few times so not really sure which way this is going to go well with a start like that it could go Armatus's way that's a crit rock roller is going to get triggered that's not good oh um well this could be quick i don't think this will be lethal but yeah, the fairy's not going to be in good shape after this. Silver Knight's really needs to get going here. Or they're going to fail this trial. Oh, never mind, they killed it. <laughs> that was quick. Too quick, too quick for the fairy and Arbitus. Well. Overkillingly denies Silver Knight any points from this trial. Okay, up next we have Clay Foliage making their debut in my tournaments, coming in with a Carnotaurus. See who the Carnotaurus will be facing. Ooh, it's gonna go up against the Pachycephalosaurus. Right then, representing Clay Foliage in this first trial, we have Carnotaurus. A very odd move set for a Carnotaurus. Although it does have the Hurricane Beat, which is his biggest attack. And if he gets one of them off, then I'm sure Clay Foliage will be successful in this trial. However, standing in his way, we got the Pachycephalosaurus. This Pachycephalosaurus has dispatched all its opponents out the face in this trial. No one has been able to beat it yet. Will Carnotaurus be the first? Ooh, as a tie. Not good. Ties only favour one dinosaur, and it's the one on the right. However, that will gladly favour Clay Foliage. A crit is a perfect start. Even without the Hurricane Beat, that crit does a serious amount of damage. Oh, here we, oh, here we go. I forgot he's got these alpha moves. Tap the button! Um, this won't be lethal, won't it? Oh, it is lethal. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> wow, some really quick matches so far in this session. And the Pachycephalosaurus suffers defeat for the first time. Well done to Clay Foliage. Okay, up next we have another debutant in my tournament. We have Storm coming in with a Parasaurolophus. Going up against the Parasaurolophus, will we see a mirror match? Oh, it's going to be Pachycephalosaurus again. Okie dokie, representing the storm for this first trial, we have Parasaurolophus. <clears throat> we'll see how this Parasaurolophus fares in the first trial. Could be an interesting one, it does have Dino Force. It does have the Dino Force. It's going to be tough though, because standing in its way, we got the Pachycephalosaurus. Bit bruised and battered after it's after tasting defeat for the first time in this tournament. I'm sure I'll be looking for some redemption. 
Cephalosaurus gets the first hit on the board. Oh, that's a tie. Well, you know Ty's, you know Ty's favour. Oh, wow. There comes the tiebreaker. Another hit from Pachycephalosaurus. This is very strong from Pachycephalosaurus. Not good if you're Storm. Oh, that... Wow, this has been really quick. Okay, nope, the power is still hanging on, but yeah, Storm needs to get some hits on the board and fast. And does get a hit, does get a light recovery as well. That could be a turning point. A Dino Force coming in as well. This should do a decent amount of damage, provided I get the button clickage right. And I do. In comes the Minmies. Get them, fellas. Boosh. Spitties. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, look at that. That's more like it from the storm. Getting the two points on the board. Can they finish this off? Unfortunately, it's not going to happen. They get the two points, but they do fail the trial. But hey, at least they're not walking away empty-handed. We're coming towards our final five combatants. Up next, we have Black Beauty, who did well in, the, in their debut tournament last time. Coming in with an Augustinia. Taking on the Augustinia, we're going to see... Ooh, looks like it's going to be the Purple Predator, Sejuangosaurus. Seeing a lot of this guy in this trial. Right then, representing Black Beauty for this first trial, we have Augustinia. Augustinia! This Augustinia does have the protection of Dino Stuffer, which could come in handy. Dino Stuffer, one of those special moves that I added to my newly created limited list for this tournament. Just so it doesn't get overused. And taking on the uh, Augustinia, we got the Sejuangosaurus, a turtle predator. Let's see how this purple pest does this time. Well, it's had a few scouts during this first trial, but it's also suffered a few defeats. The Sejuangosaurus is never one to be underestimated. Oh, well, there goes the dino stuffer. <laughs> Guess it did play its part. Another time. Does have the blunder effect, the Augustinia, so that will come in handy. Especially since it nullified the Dino Illusion. Oh, stop with the ties. Ah, there we go. Finally, someone got a hit, and it's Black Beauty. Getting off the mark there. And they'll certainly get off the mark after this trial with that hit. Unfortunately, the blunder effect did wear off, so the Dino Illusion is back in play. So that's rather annoying. Well, there goes the Dino Illusion. <laughs> Eating it up there, the Augustinia. And things are in good for Black Beauty. Can they close this out for a maximum of five points? Or can the Sejuangosaurus deny a max... Well, can they deny a victory? The answer to that is no. And it's relatively straightforward after consecutive ties for Black Beauty. And they pass this trial. Right, well done to Black Beauty. Up next, we have got Ultra Lord coming in with a Mega Raptor. Taking on the Mega Raptor is probably going to be Mapusaurus. Oh, no, it's not. Ooh, it's going to be Spinosaurus. Wow, when's the last time we seen saw Spinosaurus? Didn't see it at all in part two. Right then, represent, representing Ultra Lord, we have a Mega Raptor. Well, Ultra Lord fared better than Arctic Warriors did using a Mega Raptor. Well, they have a better matchup, so these are upside. 
One step in the right direction, I suppose. But do not underestimate the powerhouse that is the Spinosaurus, champion of the Water Washout Tournament. A frequently used dinosaur in my main tournaments. And definitely a force to be reckoned with. Ooh, this one could go either way. I feel like this one could go either way. Could be in for a tight contest. Ooh, Mega Raptor secures the first hit. Mayfly will get triggered, which could come in handy. Ooh, but the Spino responds with a Net Crusher. Light recovery to come as well. Luckily for the Mega Raptor, this Spino is tight type, not heroic type. If it's heroic type, then that Water Sword will be a massive problem. Ooh, a tie. Don't really want to go scissors there, Mega Raptor. Don't really want to go scissors. Now, Pate, would be brilliant to go for. Just not in this case, because Spino got the head. Not looking good for Ultra Lord here. Yeah. Can the Mega Raptor fight? Can the Mega Raptor get a hit back? Struggling to get hits. Oh, there's another tie. One more tie will do it. Oh, there it is. And unfortunately, the Spino's HP is above half as well, so Ultra Lord will be walking away from this trial empty handed. Spinosaurus proving his apexness. Coming up, we have Team Allo, an interesting team featuring all Allosaurus. Oh, and Sorophagon. Right, let's see who Alpha Allosaurus will be taking on. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, is it going to be a good matchup? It is going to be a good matchup against the Parasaurolophus. Okie dokie, for Team Allo, in this first trial, we have Alpha Allosaurus. With all wind moves, this will be a favourable matchup for Team Allo here. Going up against a Parasaurolophus. And well, they'll have a good time against any team that has a Grass Dinosaur if they get to the last 16 round. But that's a long way away yet. But standing in the way of Allosaurus, we do have a Parasaurolophus, the gracious Grass Champion. And it is built on resilience, so even with a tight advantage, this Para can take a hit. But Allosaurus does have Dino Illusion as a backup plan, as a contingency plan. Oop, we start with a tie. That'll probably suit the power though. Another tie? Not another tie fast, please. Ah, there we go. And it's Allosaurus securing the first hit. The type advantage applying there. The Mayfly getting triggered as well. And the Mayfly be activated, and that might be that. With a tight advantage, with the power already low on health, I think this is going to be lethal. And it is. Probably only just, though. But that is a pretty straightforward success for Team Allo. And after that, I'm pretty confident now we're going to see him in the last 16. Right then, our penultimate combatant sees Aaron plays using a Stegosaurus. And Stegosaurus' opponent is going to be... Ooh, I think it's going to be... I think it might be... Yeah, it's going to be Mapusaurus. Right then, representing Aaron plays, we have got a Stegosaurus. This Stegosaurus is quite the powerful dinosaur. I'm sure I'll be looking to get off some big hits early on to give Aaron Plays the advantage in this trial. But, standing in the Steg's way, we got the serial winner itself, the Mapusaurus. Mapusaurus, champion of the fire tournament, won the uh, trial of the Apexes in Evolution 2, and has claimed, and has denied many combatants in this trial already victories. Although it has been defeated a few times as well, I will say that. So it's not like it's totally invincible. But it does open with a crit. That's not good. Tech boost is going to activate. Stegosaurus has to do better than that. 
That's a tie. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a sand trap. That could be a big moment, that. Both of these two have tie specialist moves. Stegosaurus with a sand trap and Makusaurus with a heat eruption. But is Stegosaurus getting lucky there with a the sand trap? Gonna lower Makusaurus's defense in a tie as well, so that will definitely help. As I say, it could be a crucial hit, that could be. Or maybe not. <laughs> Makuzoras gets a hit anyway. It's going to get off a stun dash. And this stun dash is going to do a lot of damage. Let's see if it's fatal. Oh, almost fatal. Things not looking good for Aaron plays. Needs to get the next hit. And ideally, needs it to be a crit. Oh, it's a tie! Unfortunately, the tie's not enough to drop Mapusaurus' HP below half, so Aaron Plays will be walking away from this trial empty-handed. Right, now on to our final combatant to take part in this trial, Mr. Dinosauria. Eagerly await in their turn. Right, let's see who our, fight, who our opponent will be for this final combatant. Ooh, we're finishing big. It's going to be Pachycephalosaurus. Right then, representing Mr. Dinosauria, for this first trial, we have Majungasaurus. Mr. Dinosauria has taken part in a few of my tournaments, only the tag team ones for some reason. Doesn't seem to be a fan of the 3v3s. Didn't fare too well last time out though. Right, standing in Majungasaurus's way, we've got Pachycephalosaurus. This Pachycephalosaurus has only been defeated once throughout this entire trial. Can Mr. Dinosauriad give it a hand of another defeat? It's going to be tough. It'll be tough. That's a tie, but, well, you, you know where this Pachycephalosaurus is. It's a tie specialist. Majungasaurus does get the first hit on the board. A good hit there. Good start. Oh, but the Pachycephalosaurus responds with a crit. So Pachycephalosaurus does have the lead. Another tie, that's not good. Ties are wearing this Majungasaurus down. Ooh, but that's welcoming. A crit. This won't be lethal. Because, yeah, the secret move was triggered as well, so the Pachycephalosaurus took less damage. But its health is below half. So Dinosauria will get two points out of this trial. At the very least. But I think they're going to get more. And they are. Mr. Dinosauria finishing finishing trial one strong, defeating the Pachycephalosaurus and claiming maximum points. And with that, trial one has officially come to an end. So we shall have a look at the table and see where everyone is at. Well, that's how we look after the first trial. So 19 of you succeeded in trial one, four of you failed but got two points, and and 11 of you failed without getting any points. And that's how we look. So, yeah, Maastricht, Nirvan, and Dino Hunter are all going to be in the last 16 round. Well, unless we have, like, a big tie, but, yeah. I, I doubt it would be that big of a tie. And, yeah, that's how things look so far. Remember, only the top 16 qualify. And, yeah, for you guys at the bottom, there's still plenty of time to turn it around. You've still got two more trials to do it. Although, I'm pretty confident in saying that nobody's going to succeed trial two. The whole point of trial two is not to actually succeed, and it is just to try and get as many points as you can out of it by defeating dinosaurs. And, well, if you do somehow defeat defeat all three, then, yeah, you deserve your place in the last 16. But we'll see how you lot fit in the second trial. And until then, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.